Hey, this is Tony Wright with CI Media Network, and you're watching me on WBBN TV. <laughs> What's up? I'm the Heartbreak Kid, Michael Hill, and you are watching WBBN TV. Hey guys, I want to welcome you to another edition of The Spotlight. I am your host, Bernard Reed Jr. And today I'm here with a face that most of you are familiar with. She's an R&B singing sensation, but today she's not here to talk about that. Ms. Gwen Yvette, I want to welcome you to the show. Thank you so now, much. Now, you are one of the organizers for a spring concert event that's being held on April 1st at the Henry C. Chambers Waterfront Park. And this, this benefit concert is to help with the rebuilding of the, uh, the Buford Black Chamber of Commerce that burned last, last year. Now, most of you know about the fire that happened. The fire was ruled accidental. The loss was estimated more at about a $2 million loss. It was scheduled to be completed this past December and the grand opening was actually supposed to be held this month. Mm -hmm. Now, explain to me how important was or is, and I'm gonna say was because it's, it's, it's still around, it's still, still moving mm -hmm. regardless of what happened. How important is the, Black Buford, the, the Buford Black Chamber of Commerce to our community? Well, you know, I think many of us don't even realize mm -hmm. just how important the um, Beaufort County Black Chamber of Commerce is mm -hmm. because they're that, they bridge that gap mm -hmm. in between um, the economics and those who are kind of um, probably an underserved mm -hmm. um, community that, and they, they bridge those resources mm -hmm. and put us in connection with resources that um, we might not find otherwise. Yes, yeah. And so it's very valuable and, and many of us don't take advantage of that being in our community. Okay. Now, the the Spring Benefit Concert. Mm -hmm. All right. It's on April 1st. Um, no time has really been set yet, but it's going to be at the Waterfront Park. Who came up with the idea to have the Benefit Concert to help raise funds for the rebuilding process? Well, as an artist, um, I was brainstorming just thinking, how can what can I do to help? Mm -hmm. um, and that was before the the ruling of it being accidental. Mm -hmm. It was just the fact that the the building burned, mm -hmm. and um, so I was trying to figure out how I could be of help as an artist and, and as a member of the community. And I put it out on social media, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, many artists and um, musicians. Um, visual artists, mm -hmm. different things from the community mm -hmm. volunteered and said they would be willing to participate in that. And so that's where it started. Mm -hmm. Now, something like this is not easy. Uh, <laughs> it's not easy. And, and tell, me, tell me a little bit about, now from what I understand, we, before we you know, started taping and everything, y'all made some major changes. We had to. Um, we basically... Because I am a, I'm an artist, mm -hmm. I'm a dreamer, I'm not, a, <laughs> and I'm not an event planner. Mm -hmm. And so the ideas that I had in my mind about how we mm -hmm. could make this huge and make it, you know, an awesome event, um, you know, I needed someone mm -hmm. to be there to say, okay, this is not practical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not in this time <laughs> yeah. frame, it's yes, not practical. Yeah, yes, yes. So the date that we had set um, for February 25th, mm -hmm. It, we had to push it back yes, some yes. in order to make things happen. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's now moved to April 1st. Okay. Now, how has the response been from the community, even though you pushed it back, that's given the people a lot more time to get yes. involved with this. So how has the, the community response been so far with this? So far, the community response has been really positive. Okay. And, and I think that once we, um, because we have pushed the date back mm -hmm. some, now we have given ourselves a little bit more room to work with as okay. far as um, getting that word out, you know, get it saturated mm -hmm. within the community. Okay. Talk about what, if, when the folks come to the event, what can they, you said there's going to be music. Yes. There's going to be art. There's going to be... Music, art, we have um, musicians, mm -hmm. singers, mm -hmm. visual artists. Uh, we have, have uh, visual art donations mm -hmm. where we're going to be able to auction oh, original cool, art cool, pieces. Cool, cool. Um, 
my original idea, you know, was to go all out yeah, with it, yeah, have yeah, dances, yeah, a yes, fashion yes, show, yes. and the whole nine. But we're having to scale it back some. Okay, okay. So we, we're going from a uh, twelve-hour event mm -hmm. that was like you know ten to ten, yes, yes. to now we're we're putting it into a um, few evening. hour okay, evening okay. exactly. So we're going to probably start and do um, something like maybe four to nine-ish okay. as opposed right. to that full event. So what they can expect is some good music, some okay. great music, okay. um, and the opportunities to buy some um, some original art okay. as well as participate in, in an awesome community event okay. All right. and support the rebuilding of the Beaufort County Black Chamber of Commerce. Okay, wonderful. Now, now I got, I'm going to ask this question. Now, you, uh -huh. you, you know, you're an organizer, but you definitely going to grace the crowd with your voice, right? Oh, yes. I'm planning to <laughs> perform as well. Yes, I am one of the artists that will be performing that day. Okay, yes. now, now in the, for the future, will there be any more events done like this in the future to help with, you know, f help fund? That is one of the things that we've talked about, mm -hmm. actually making this an annual event okay. um, to to go towards the chamber and of course okay. it'll tie back into the community and so mm -hmm. it can actually become something that you know that we do every year that that's really good for our community okay now if anyone wants to be a part of the event who can they contact um, who do they need to contact what can they do if you want to be if you want to participate as an artist in that event we need more artists mm -hmm. to participate um, you can contact Shade Smith she is serving as like the um, you know the She's doing all the details. Okay. She's very right. detail-oriented. Right. Right. <laughs> and that number is 843-271-1184. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. So you would contact Sade Smith. Also, you can hit me on social media okay. if you're on Facebook. Just send me an inbox if you're interested. Okay. Um, you can send me an inbox and I can forward that information to Sade. Okay. My Facebook is Gwen Yvette. Simple. <laughs> Gwen Nothing Yvette hard. with a Y. Okay. And I will make sure, I'll make sure... <laughs> We, as you can see, it's going to be all down. All that information is going to be at the bottom of the screen, as you can see. Um, and again, Spring Benefit Concert at the Henry C. Chambers Waterfront Park on April 1st. Now, yes. is there anything else that I may have missed that the folks out there watching this need to know about, about whether, you know, um, uh, more information to come? I know y'all been, have been having meetings yes. and everything. Do you want to speak on that a little bit? We have one this evening, as a matter of fact, okay. and um, we're we're basically just solidifying all the details. Mm -hmm. um, the the consultant that we have now working with us on this, okay. who has done benefit concerts, mm -hmm. um, she is meeting with us this evening just to iron out those foundational things, and then from there we're pushing for sponsorship mm -hmm. from businesses, small business owners, individuals who okay. who want to uh, contribute on that level. Mm -hmm. As well, we're going to be pushing for sponsorship and spreading the word through the community churches and things like that. Um, um, churches, uh -huh. will they like you know, church choirs? Yes, and everything? we we are asking for that. We are okay. asking for choirs to participate as well, right. um, and we're gonna you know organize the evening so that it flows. flows you know what I mean? Court, yes, absolutely. Yes. All right, I want to thank you for coming on today, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. In the near future, you're going to be probably seeing this face on another on another WBBN TV show. So just 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 stand by. But again, I want to thank you for being on and uh, giving us this information. And please feel free if any if there are any other updates at, as far as the meetings go and that you guys have until the event goes. Please let us know, and we will definitely update our viewers. Awesome. All right, thank thank you. you very much. All right, thank you guys for watching another episode of the Spotlight. I want to thank you again. I am your host.